now what can be the causes of uh, uh, polyhydramnios when we see amniotic tube pocket of more than 13 centimeters uh, with findings of polyhydramnios, acrania, absent abdominal wall, no bowels, no kidney seams, absent vertebral column, short length of fetus, sinus tachycardia with cardiomegaly and uh, meconium in the amniotic fluid as you are seeing in this uh, video segment. So these are the findings uh, that we had in the study of this uh, fetal anomaly. Uh, she, uh, she came with uh, large for dates and it probably gave it up. So the possible causes uh, for polyhydramnios can be discussed. Uh, um, that uh, the most common causes are that relating to the fetal CNS, relating to the skeletal, relating to the GIT, and relating to the placenta. Whereas the maternal causes are diabetes, RH incompatibility, and infection, especially TORCH syndrome and multiple pregnancies. These are some common causes uh, of uh, polyhydramnios, of which uh, we have seen in this patient there were fetal CNS anomalies, there were skeletal anomalies, there were GIT anomalies, and there were renal anomalies uh, in this patient. Apart from this, we saw there were cardiac anomalies and uh, skeletal anomalies were more common. So, what does the amniotic fluid measure in this? It's about 11.6 uh, centimeters. But however, this is not the accurate way to get the... And this uh, echoes, floating echoes, that, these floating echoes that you are seeing on your screen in the amniotic fluid is suggestive of fetal distress and meconium in the amniotic fluid. So this is the ultrasound finding. Causes of the ultrasound findings. Please do give me the feedback. Do give your comments as I am doing all this for free of cost in detail up to my knowledge, not he con uh, concealing anything or asking dollars from you. So please uh, be kind to make me learn, comment where I have done good. That is, uh, that will be my gain, you know. So thank you very much. God bless you.